What is up, people of YouTube? Welcome back to another one. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different than the standard here at Factory Gravel Pack. We're going to be talking about a, a product review today, which is not something I do a ton of. You know, every once in a while, I try some products out, get the ones I like, and I like to uh, walk through them, tell you a little bit about them, tell you what I think. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about a set of uh, the Black Bibs bib shorts that I've been trying out for probably something like nine or months or so, so it's pretty much a full season. Before I get started, I just want to let you know, this isn't a video that's sponsored by the Black Bibs. They're not paying me for my opinion or anything like that. Uh, I found out about this company through a friend, tried to save their bibs out, really liked them, and so I uh, suggested I give them a try, and that's what I did. So I reached out to the company um, for some sizing information. We're a pretty big dude, and it can be tough to get something that fits just perfect. So I was asking some questions about sizing, uh, in the end, they offered to send me a pair for review. So, just want to give you a heads up to consider that they did send me a pair free of charge for this review. When it's done, I'm going to contact the company to see if I need to send them back or what I need to do. Um, the only agreement for that was one, I do a review video. And then I also mentioned two things that they think are important. Number one, the price point, which is actually what got me interested in the first place. I looked just this morning the set of bib shorts that I'm wearing today. The ultimate bibs go for 80 bucks which is insanely cheap compared to what you can spend on some of the more higher end priced you know 250 300 uh, so price point i think is important to them it's also important to me cycling is a pretty cost prohibitive activity for a lot of folks so the other thing is as far as the uh, logos and really the lack of logos if you look at these shorts i really don't know that i can find a black bib logo anywhere i don't think there's a single logo or anything anywhere no labels there you go i appreciate that personally kind of like the idea of that incognito you know some band brands i'm not going to name any particular there but they have their logo all over the place and it's kind of uh part of it representing them and showing that you're wearing it and i think maybe that's not what black Goods is all about and I, I do appreciate that. So anyway, before I got started, just wanted to mention those two things. The ride I'm actually out on today, I started out with a group of folks, a group of bike packers that are heading out from an event called Packapalooza, where folks ride from all parts to uh, Base Camp Flint Hills, which has been on the channel previously. I think I rode out with about half a dozen or so folks. They were heading out there for the evening, do some bike packing, gonna camp and then ride back tomorrow. Fortunately, I couldn't make that event. This weekend, I'm on animal duty. But it was nice to ride with folks. And uh, like I said, the weather today is, boy, top notch. We got some wind, but it's Kansas, so we always do. Now it's probably into the 50s. Sun's out. Just a beautiful fall day to ride a bicycle. So I just want to start out with uh, some specifics of the bib shorts that I'm reviewing. These are uh, the Black Bibs Ultimate Bib Shorts. And as far as sizing go, I went with uh, long shoulder straps. Uh, from what I could tell on their website, they've got a standard bib short. These are the Ultimates, which I think are a little more all day type, a little different chamois, I think, given material. And then they also have an Adventure bib short that has uh, pretty common features like uh, pockets that a lot of folks tend to like these days. And so, uh, yeah, we're talking about the Ultimate bib shorts from Bike Bibs today. Big day. New bib shorts, black bibs. Pretty good thickness there. Seems like a pretty nice chamois. That's the money maker, huh? I've had them. For, I think I've had these bib shorts for about nine months now, and I've worn them for almost every event I've ridden in those nine months. If you're a viewer, subscriber of the channel, you can see all the events that I've ridden in the last year. Almost all of them have been with these shorts. And the idea for me is to ride them as much as possible, in as many different conditions as possible, to not only get an indication of what I think about them, how they feel, how I like the chamois, but how, so how they're gonna hold up. Because uh, some of the issues I've had with some of the higher end shorts is really the durability. 
quite frankly, they just don't seem to last very well for me. When you're spending $250 plus for shorts, that's a problem. So I figure what I do for this review is break things down into different categories. What I think is important as far as apparel and bib shorts. I'm gonna start with what's obviously the most important one to me, and that's comfort. Talking about bib shorts, really, like that's what matters to me is are they comfortable? Can I spend long days in them, really long days? How's the chamois feel? How's it feel in the seat? Those kind of things. I've never been someone, I still have yet to find the perfect seat. I still have yet to have a time where I'm always comfortable all the time. And so comfort's number one on my list. And uh, overall, I would actually rate these pretty high on the comfort scale. They are as good or better than pretty much every other pair of bib shorts I've ever worn. So I'd probably give them a seven or eight probably on that scale. Uh, out of 10, I, there's probably some room there. There's maybe something that I don't even know about, um, you know, a, a different chamois or something that's gonna be even better. But from my perspective on comfort, I'm gonna give these a solid, we'll call it a 7.5 on the scale out of 10. Second category I wanna talk about is fit and sizing. As a big dude on a bicycle, that's something that can be pretty difficult. And this is probably the category I score them the highest out of everything. I'm gonna go with the nine. And the reason is they've got options for longer shoulder straps, normal shoulder straps. They've got inseam lengths that are shorter, standard, longer. They have tall fit. The variation you can get in the fit of your bib shorts through them was impressive. You know, and I reached out to them talked about the issues I normally have with bib shorts and fit decided to go with the uh, long shoulder straps and uh, pretty darn nice I'm 6'4 and normally if I get a set of bib shorts where the shoulder straps are long enough the inseam and the bottoms are just too loose and so this has been a really nice compromise of the two really that the uppers fit and the lowers fit that's why I score them so high you know if you're more typical standard size average it probably isn't that big of a deal but the fit overall is nice because of the variation you can get the fit seems fine to me for the sizing i got um they're tight where they should be not too tight where they shouldn't be yeah i've been impressed overall so as far as fit let's go with a nine got a few questions from folks about plans for the fall for us we uh did that event in salida and then we haven't ridden a ton since i think we kind of wore out our happiness on the bike for a little while we did help out with uh, bad asher last weekend ran a sag stop there and uh really enjoyed that you know kind of got the stoke level back up so we'll see i may uh at least one of us may participate in the maple leaf gravel which is up in baldwin city kansas at the end of the month but we may sneak in another event or two Probably nothing too major because our lack of fitness. Um, but this is, to be honest, this is the time of year I love riding the bike most. Um, sometimes you kind of burn out on the year by now, but God, it's just so beautiful to be outside in the fall. Leaves coming down. Timbers are actually enjoyable after a long, hot, miserable summer in Kansas. So, I'm not sure what events we'll make it to, but wouldn't be surprised if we show up at one or two more this year. Next category that was probably important to mention is, uh, I guess we'll call it, I guess we'll call it aesthetic. How these things look compared to other bib shorts. Uh, to be frank, I don't really care too much at all about this category. It's not something I value that highly, but they are a little bit different in appearance. I would give them a mixed score on this, probably a seven or so. The aesthetic, maybe not for everyone. They do look a little bit different than some of the more common or, or typical materials you see in some of the higher end bib shorts. But uh, again, for me, I could, on them, be honest, I could care less. I do like the idea though, that it's not covered in logos and you know, it's like a walking billboard kind of thing. So as far as aesthetic, that gets some credit from me because I like the idea. If I could wear no logos whatsoever, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. But, uh, and on the bib shorts, that seems to be the case. So we'll go with the seven overall for aesthetic. Finally, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about with these shorts is uh, construction, quality construction and uh, durability. Um, how long they're gonna last and I gotta say, it's, you know, I haven't been a year yet, but a lot of rides, including mud rides. I actually broke in, I switched to uh, Brooks Cambium saddles this year, which can kind of be a death sentence to shorts. 
um, you get pretty rough on it till you get those things broken in a little bit. With breaking in that cambium saddle, there are some small wear marks in the inside and legs, but I think that's to be expected. I've been remarkably impressed for a pair of bib shorts. Not crashed there. I've been remarkably impressed for a pair of bib shorts that cost eighty dollars. Um, as far as durability, I have seen no indication whatsoever as far as stitching, construction, anything falling apart. And I can say for certain that has not been my experience with other brands. Usually, after a year, things are already starting to unravel a bit. I guess I would rate the uh, durability and construction as the most pleasantly surprised part of the, these bib shorts. Kind of figure for a cheaper price point, you know, they look pretty nice. Just wear down faster, don't last as long. But honestly, in the same stuff that I bought in the last year, as far as jerseys and you name it, jersey socks, you know, even bib shorts, other kinds of bib shorts, they're doing pretty well, as good or better than something I spent three or four times the amount of money on. And so I'm gonna give that, let's go eight. There's probably always room for improvement there as well, but pleasantly surprised for the price point, how these things are holding up. So we'll see in the next year if that continues. So that probably takes us to overall rating. And I have to say, I'm impressed. Combination of price, construction, comfort, you know, a lot of those things you're looking for, or I'm looking for in bib shorts. Um, yeah, I'm impressed and I, I think I'm probably converted. The next pair of bib shorts I pay with my dime is probably gonna be a set of black bibs. I'd like to try out their Venture with the pockets. I think it's the same chamois. But when I was trying to decide like how they compare, you know, I could choose between, I have no sponsorship from anyone, so I can ride whatever I wanna ride. And part of it was to try and get good experience with them, but I didn't necessarily need to, to wear them all year to every event. But more times than not, when I went to grab a pair of bib shorts, even just on a training ride, these were what I grabbed. And so I just kind of felt more comfortable you know, some of my other bib shorts have seen seen their days and are a little worn down, but boy, I don't know. When you're when you're choosing bib shorts and you choose the ones that cost 80 and not the one that cost 250, well, maybe that says something. So overall score, let's go with an eight. If you've given them a try, I'd be interested in your experience, what you think about them. So appreciate if you comment below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't, you know, give them a try. For the price, you're not losing much. So if they're not for you, if the fit's not for you to look, you're only out, you know, 40, 70, 80 bucks, depending on what you get. And that's a lot better than pretty much any other option out there. Appreciate you tuning in this week to this review. I don't do a lot of reviews. It's not what this channel really is about. I'm not trying to push any kind of product. So generally it's gonna be for things I'm using, things I'm trying, and overall probably things I like. And uh, black bibs now fit in that category. So appreciate you tuning in. See you next time.